Today I want to talk about a practical application for linear actuators. Years ago, when I first got this tractor, about 20 years ago, I took a torch and I cut the bucket off. Went around here, up here, back here, and around, and then I made this bobcat type quick hitch. And it was held on by these uh, Acme screws. These screws would push down and the pin goes out the other end, drops into the notch in the bucket or whatever you're having. I've got quite a few different op applications. But I guess they could get off the tractor and screwing this down. It's kind of a pain. So I decided to make an automatic quick release. And using linear actuators, I've got two switches on the tractor that will put this up or down and reverse it so that you can either put it on or take it off. So I'll just show you real quick how this works and what it looks like. And then uh, that'll be about it. It's not real exciting, but it's something. The beauty of this system is if this fails, I can just put this right back in and use it manually. So I thought that was pretty clever. So I'm going to go up on the tractor and just take a close up of how this works. In. Out. So now I'm disconnecting the bucket or whatever else might be on. Then I put a new drive up to a new thing, slip it on. And there it is. I've got some steel to put across here just to protect this. It's all drilled and tapped and ready to go. The idea is if you don't like the way something is, change it. My buddy says I can't have nothing without cutting it off, cutting something off or welding a bracket to it. And I think he's right. So here's a look at the final product. That's it.